This is Wander001 with my review of the Belkin Conserve Insight Energy Use Monitor or Kilowatt Meter. Here you can see both parts of this particular device. You have the readout display as well as the plug. The measurements on the display are three inches high, actually, sorry, three inches wide by three inches high and 1.75 inches in depth. You can see that it tapers off to a stylized, I will call it almost a dew drop shape with a green accent. You will also notice on the bottom, there is a slight notch and that is why it sits so nicely so that you can read the display uh, no matter where you have it plugged in. Here we have the wall socket. Again, it is uh, 2.25 inches high. It is 1.5 inches long and two inches wide. You will also notice notches on either side for comfortable gripping and removing from the wall. Again, standard United States wall plug-in. Uh, the back is also this stylized green. Um, don't really care if it's green or not. I just think of it more of a green washing move, but what have you. Uh, I did get this particular uh, kilowatt meter over the P3 International version of a kilowatt meter, mainly because of this here. This is a five foot cord that allows you to plug the meter into a wall and a device and still have your display elsewhere, uh, which is quite important because a lot of the, uh, the videos that I saw on the P3 uh, kilowatt meters, yes, they do more things than the, the Belkin here can, but you know, you had people crawling under furniture and around things just to read the meter. With the five foot cord here, you plug it into the wall, you don't have to worry about it, and you just have this sitting next to a device or, or in a place that you can easily see. Uh, just for argument's sake, I'll throw a uh, deck of cards there, give you a rough idea of how big that is. Uh, so what I'll do now is I will plug this into the wall so you can see the uh, wall uh, the wall socket here how much space it takes up on a socket as well as going through some of the features here on the display okay here is the Belkin conserve plug in your standard US wall socket once you plug the kilowatt meter into the wall it will display 0 through 0.5 watts being used uh, that lets you know that the device is turned on. This is actually also one of the uh, complaints I have with this particular kilowatt meter. I got it mainly to check if uh, getting the Belkin Smart AV Auto uh, off surge protector would be worthwhile. So I wanted to get something to see if uh, the vampire power that my TV would take uh, would be worthwhile letting that happen to turn off my other devices rather than using my crazy piggybacking setup where I have to turn things off and switches and all that fun stuff. Uh, but the problem, this device does not read less than one kilowatt. So if it's under a kilowatt, you won't know what actually uh, is being utilized. So anything under that, you're not going to see. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take and plug a light in to the device so we can actually see some of these other functions. So what we're looking at right now is a lamp that I plugged into it, it has a uh, 23 watt bulb in it and right here you can see the kilowatts being used right now by that 23 watt bulb. Now it's actually warming up still so it's going to get to 23 watts I'm sure but uh, so what we're looking at right now is this button here this is the kilowatts used button. You can see down there there's a small moving square. When the square is moving, it's reading. This button here 
will display the amount of money used by the device. Uh, in this case, like I said, it's a lamp. A uh, little hard to see over there in the corner, it is displaying 30 days. So based on the inputted value, I will be spending $1.73 if I run this for 30 days straight. If you push the money button again, it changes it from 30 days to 365 days. Now this is one of the complaints I also have. There is no intermediate, it's only 30 or 365 days. Uh, so I can't tell how long, uh, let's say, an hour or 15 minutes will cost me in kilowatts. Now, if you did want to change, because you can change at least the value, uh, the dollar amount or change amount that the device uses to figure this out, if you push and hold the center dollar sign here, it will bring you to the option to change. Now, by default, it's like 11 cents. Uh, I've never really had electricity go that high for me, and obviously if you don't play with it, it turns itself off. So let me turn that on again. Uh, plus and mi or minus and plus sign, so you can change based on your local mu municipality's uh, electrical rating. Turn it off, you just push the button again, and I'll turn that back to the 360, or the 30 month. I'll turn that back to the 30 day readout. Over here, the picture of the globe is actually your carbon offset. In this case, uh, it's showing pounds. So just having this lamp run for 30 days, 24 hours a day, uh, be putting 18.9 pounds of carbon into the atmosphere. And again, you push it again, it changes it to uh, 365. Push and hold. And just like you did with the Just like you did with the uh, price, you can change, and again it shut off because I'm talking too slow, you can change the, uh, the value uh, in, in pounds. So turn that off again. All right, so that, that's off. Uh, there also is an averaging mode. Uh, when the device is on for 45 minutes, it will go into an averaging mode, which will allow you to get a better idea of the the power usage in this case right now it's showing the one bar going by just like here it's the one bar going by once it enters into average mode it will give you a better estimate of how much money you are going to actually spend and what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to let this get into averaging mode once it enters into averaging mode you won't see it on the kilowatt screen however on the monetization screen here you will notice a graph and the single marker has now turned into three slower moving markers. Uh, once, in, once in this mode, you are supposed to get a better average of how much money you are actually going to spend over the course of either a year or 30 day period. It also will do this for the carbon offset. Uh, another deciding factor for me for going for the, the Belk and Conserve Insight here over the P3 International kilowatt, uh, kilowatt meters was the price. If you get it directly from Belkin, it's uh, $29.99 plus shipping and handling, so you round that up to like $30, $35. If you get it on Amazon, you can find it for about $17. However, if you look for the, the particular part number, uh, I'll put a annotation here with the part number and I'll put it in the description area so you can just copy and paste it. If you look up the particular part number in Amazon, there actually is a seller, uh, Web's Best Deals, sells it for $9.50 plus tax, free shipping. Uh, I tried it out, I didn't have any problems, so yeah, if you're gonna go that route, I, I would check out that website. Uh, all in all, even with the limitations, for what I got it for, it, it's serving its purpose. Uh, again, I like the fact that it has a cord and that little notch there that lets you put it next to something so you don't have to be crawling and, you know, looking right up against the uh, wall adapter to find out what your actual usage is. So if you're looking for a moderately cheap, uh, fairly well-featured, 
kilowatt meter, I would check this one out. 